Our Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for another opportunity you have granted to each one of us to be here. We want to thank you, God, for this worship service. We want to thank you, Father, because we know that you are here with us. We are not here alone. Heavenly Father, we pray that you will reveal your mysterious presence Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heavenly Father, we pray that this be the first service for the year. Let it be wonderful. Amen. You can make it to be wonderful. Amen. Let it be wonderful for every one of us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. At the end of this worship, Father, we pray that that which will be our testimony should follow us home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We pray that your mighty presence will follow us home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All the goodness of heaven will follow us home. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you bless people this very day, the first Sunday of the year 2011, remember us for your blessing. Amen. 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 Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. Be merciful unto this worship. And accept it into your presence. Accept every one of us into your presence. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Christ Jesus' name, we are praying with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. And the king spake unto Aspenaz, the master of his enos, that he should bring certain of the children of Israel, and of the king's seed, and of the princes, children in whom was no blemish, but well favored, and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in knowledge, and understand science, such as had ability in them to stand in the king's palace, and whom they might teach the learning and the tongue of the child ends. Verse 5. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat, and of the wine which he drank, so nourishing them three years, that at the end thereof they might stand before the king. Verse 6. Now among these were of the children of Judah, Daniel, Ananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Verse 7. Unto whom the prince of the Enoch gave names. For I gave unto Daniel the name of Bethsaida, and to Ananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and to Azariah of Abednego. May the Lord bless his name in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Therefore he requested of the prince of the Enoch that he might not defile himself. Now God had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the Enoch. And the prince of the Enoch said unto Daniel, I fear my lord the king who had appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces was like that the children which are of your sort? Then shall he make me endanger my head to the king. Then Daniel then said Daniel to Meza, whom the prince of the Enoch had set over Daniel, and I, Michel, and Azariah, Prove thy servant, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pearls to eat and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon thee, and the countenances of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat. 
and as thou seest, they will die servants. I'll read it verse um, 14 now. So he considered to them in this matter and proved them 10 days. 15. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. And the last verse. Thus, Mesa took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they had, uh, that they should drink, and gave them pots. Praise the Lord. coming today will not be, you will not be disappointed because the Lord who has brought you here has a purpose for bringing you here. I want us to know that God has a purpose for every one of us here upon planet earth and that the fact that the Lord has brought you to 2011, he brought you into this year for a purpose because God is interested in you. God is interested in your case but the Lord wants us to do something. This year, that's why we are reading from the book of Daniel, chapter 1. Um, I'm going to conclude Daniel chapter 1 by reading from verse 17 to 21. And for this fortune, the Bible says, God gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom, and Daniel had understanding all visions and dreams. Now, at the end of the days that the king has said he should bring them in them, in, then the prince of the eunuch brought them in before Nebuchadnezzar, 19. And the king communed with them, and among them all, uh, among them all was found none like Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. The apostles stood there before the king. And in all matters of wisdom and understanding that the king required of them, he found them ten times better than all the magicians and astronomers that were in all his realm. And Daniel continued even unto the first year of King Cyrus. This year, you shall be considered ten times more than your fellows in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord is going to release the oil of gladness upon you that every day, right from today of this year, you shall be celebrating, you shall be rejoicing, you shall have every reason to give God praise, to give God glory. This will be your portion. And I'm saying ten times. Because the Bible said Daniel and his colleagues, they were ten times better. And the Lord will make you ten times better in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Today, the Lord is saying to you, in 2011, He said, be determined not to join them. That is what the Lord is saying today. Be determined not to join them. Let us pray. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That God, you will speak expressly to us today. That indeed, Lord, at the end of the service today, we shall all make resolutions within our spirit and be determined not to join the multitude. We'll be determined not to join them because they are doing it. Lord, we'll be determined to stand like Daniel, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego. 